So here we go. So we are in, what is it, 3.4? Yep. I think so. So uh, page 122. Um, and I totally forgot what I was going to say when I remembered I should start recording this. Uh, so, yeah, Miss Dart, going back to you, do you have any idea what we would do at this next step? No, okay. So uh, pick somebody that has their hand up that could help you out. Hurry up. Okay, so it says round to the nearest whole number. So what's the nearest whole number, Ms. Neelands? Yeah, the four. That's right. So this is what we're going to be rounding. So I'll, I can circle the four and put a line under the six. So what would the nearest whole number be? 15, exactly right. That's exactly right. Because you'd circle the four and underline the six. And the number just to the right of, of that is going to determine if the 4 stays the same or if it becomes a 5. This is 5 or larger, so that becomes a 5. All right, next page. Um, so we're on page 123. And so two pages left in the 3.4 part of the packet. And um, I think you guys can do this pretty quick. We'll do a couple together here. Let me just pull some sticks. Mr. Villegas, it says write the place value of the underlying digit. And then it says round each number to the place of the underlying digit. This is kind of confusing because I had taught you guys to circle the number that we're rounding and underline the one that would determine it. But they're, they're saying uh, right now, uh, round the one that's underlined. So don't be confused by that. That's just the way these directions are. Well, you, you, still just you, still circle. you could still circle it. You still still could circle it, and that's good. Okay. Hey. Morning. Hey, can I help you? Checking your smokes. Oh, go right ahead. So the seven essentially is circled, and we could underline the three. All right. So um, what's the... What's the value of the underlying digit? Or the, yeah, the seven. What's the value of that, Vilegas? Uh, seven? Seven, but what, think of its place value. Oh, hundreds. Yeah. So seven hundreds. Okay. And then it says round the number to the place value of the underlying digit. So if we were to round the seven, would it change? Uh, no. no, because the three is is um, not a five or larger, so we would just put zero point six seven. Okay, so that's all you're doing with these here. Let's do one more. Uh, put up ten points. Uh, oh, question, or are you just raising your hand? Yeah. Um, it says, it says, write the place value of the underlying digit. I, yeah, I see. Um, I think they want it in word form. They don't say that. Um, because all you're doing then is just writing down, you know, point zero seven. I mean, that's, yeah, I, I, I would put it in word form. So that's what I'll ask you guys to do. All right, um, let's do another one. Uh, Mr. Uh, Clifton, I pulled your stick. Um, so that's the, how do you do these three here. Then it says, name the place value to which each number was rounded. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Okay. So let's look at number five here. Let me move this up so you guys can see this a little better. Um so name the place value to uh, where each number was rounded. So this is the number that was rounded here. Okay. So we had a 3.695. Um, and they've changed it to a 4, Clifton. So what, what's the number that they rounded? 
They rounded the three, but what place value is that? Yeah, the ones. Or if somebody wrote, you know, whole number, nearest whole number, but you could put ones. Okay. Um, Mr. Clifton, let's do one more together here. Let's look at number six. It's got a 7.486, and they've rounded it to a 7.5. So what did they, what's the place value that they rounded? The yeah, exactly. They rounded the four because, and you know, the eight is a five or larger. So the place, so what's the value or the place value of the, of the four? Tenths. Yeah, tenths. Okay. Um, let's drop down a little bit here. Let's look at number seven. I'll put up 10 points. Uh, Mr. Wooldridge, picking on you here. It says, write the place value of the underlying digit. Okay, that's, we did that above. Round each number to the place value of the underlying digit. So what's the place value of the underlying digit? Yeah. And then it says round each number to the place value of the underlying digit. So we're rounding that. So what would that be? Point 0.6. Yeah. Point 0.6 or if somebody put 0 0.6, that's fine too. Okay, good job. Put up 10 points. Let's do number 11 together here. Uh, Mr. Buckman. We've got 12 point 074. So what's the place value of the underlying digit? Yeah, tenths again. Okay. And then um, um, what would it round to? 12.1. Yes, 12.1. And he knows it's a 1 because 7 is the one that determines whether it is uh, rounded up or down and it's a five or larger so it becomes a point one. All right, questions on this anybody? All right, so 13, 14, and 15. Kind of the same thing again. It says name the place value to which, which uh, each number was rounded. We did some just like that a couple minutes ago. Let's do 14 together here. Pull a stick. Uh, Miss Hicks. So here was the number. It's um, 2.607. And it looks like they've rounded it to 2.61. So what's the place value that they rounded it? Zero. Yeah, it was the zero. That's right. And it became a one. And it became a one because the seven is a is larger than five. Nicely done, hon. So uh, let me ask you, what so what place value is that zero, or what's the place value of the one? Hundreds. Yeah, hundreds. Good. And then it says round. 6.748 to the place named. So you're going to round it to the tenths, round it to the hundredths, and round it to the ones. And then number 19, it says, explain what happens when you round 4.999 to the nearest tenth. Hmm. What would happen when you round that one to the nearest tenth? Anybody know? No. Yeah, what do you think? Nine would turn into a one because, it, because nine is larger than five, so it would turn into ten. Right, and, and then, right. And so since we can't increase this one, well, we can, but it would become what? Ten. One. Well, ten, but... Well, it wouldn't be one. 
we would then have to move it over one. It would, it would become, this would become 5.0. See, look, we're rounding, we're rounding this number here, this nine, the tenths place, correct? And so we look at the nine next to it, and that tells us, well, it's, it's five or larger, so this has to become a 10. So um, since it has to become a 10, we would change this to a zero and add one here, so it would become a five. I know it seems a little counterintuitive to the, what you've been working on so far, but you wouldn't have a choice, because if, if you just did this, which is, I think, what you were saying, you can correct me if I'm wrong, you're saying you would just make this 4.1. Well, that wouldn't work, because that's a whole lot less than 4.999 it would have to become a zero, and this would have to become a five. Okay? So anyways, you can phrase that in your own wording there. Let's look at the next page. We're doing on time here, doing all right. Um, what do we got? Oh, it's after nine already, look at that. Um, let's look. Uh, you guys can try this one on your own. I'll probably do a short video to help you out with it if you get stuck. Um, but finish that, and then tomorrow I think we will grade these two sheets, and then we'll be starting 3.5. Okay? All right, so work on these sheets for the next few minutes, and uh, then we're moving on to uh, some language arts.